Happy Friday, everyone. Hopefully yesterday you got some of your rough draft done. Today we're gonna focus on how to build your counter argument for your essay today. And hopefully you can finish your rough draft so you have no homework over the weekend. So let's get started so then you have enough time to write the rest of your rough draft. So we're gonna be talking about counter arguments today. And remember a counter argument is an argument with claim, reason, view, and evidence that your opponent would make. Where a rebuttal is when you respond directly to your opponent's argument or point to explain, show how or why they are wrong. So let's look at an example of a counter argument and rebuttal through this example. So many people argue that bullying is a natural part of society and that the only way to prevent the more serious effects of bullying is to punish those who do it and help the victims. But I believe that this is only doing something after the fact when we should be working toward prevention. Once bullying has started to the point that it has been brought to the adult's attention, a cycle is in place that is hard to get out of. The bully feels in power and sometimes also ashamed. Sometimes there are others involved, spectators that keep the bullying going by laughing or joining in, and often the victim has internalized some of the messages they have gotten and feels that no one can help them. Their claim is that the author's claim is that the key to improving bullying is prevention. Where the counter argument is the author points out that some people argue that bullying will happen and we should punish serious instances. A rebuttal is your yeah, but statement. So the author gives a rebuttal that punishments don't work because many people don't share that they've been bullied or they are too late for the long-term effects of bullying. It affects on people's mental and emotional state. So you will be creating a counter argument in your essay for your argumentative topic this week. So why do we include counter arguments? Why are they effective? Well, when they're done well, it makes the argument stronger. This is because it gives you the chance to respond to your reader's objections before they have finished reading. It also shows that you are a reasonable person who has considered both sides of the debate. Both of these make an essay more persuasive. Some counter arguments are better than others. You want to use ones that are actually somewhat persuasive. There's nothing to be gained by rebutting a counter argument that nobody believes. Two things to look for are reasonableness and popularity. If you yourself are somewhat unsure of the position you've chosen as your thesis, it will be easier for you to identify a good counter argument. Look for those arguments that make sense to you or that seem reasonable, even if you don't agree with them. A counter argument should be expressed thoroughly, fairly, and objectively. Do not just write a quick sentence and then immediately rebut it. Give reasons why someone might actually hold that view. Again, the point is to show your reader that you have considered all sides of the question and to make it easier to answer the counter argument. It's easier to respond to a point you have already spelled out, and it's easier for your reader to follow you and trust you. So here are some strategies for your rebuttal. There's many different ways that you can rebut someone's argument. Take a look at these examples. If your argument was, we should get a cat, and your parents' counter argument was, but your sister is allergic to cats. First, point out the flaws or errors in that counter argument. Like saying, well, I heard you say that Lisa is allergic, but there's actually a problem with that because Lisa was around a dog yesterday and she was fine. Another strategy is you can agree with the counter argument, but give them a new point or fact that contradicts their argument. You could say, I agree that Lisa is allergic to cats, but there are some breed of cats that are hypoallergenic and don't cause people's allergies to act up. Another way you could uh, rebut is by saying, by agreeing with the other side's support, but twist the facts to suit your argument. So you could say, I know that you said Lisa is allergic, but couldn't owning a pet also build up her tolerance? And then finally, you can also make an emotional plea that outweighs their argument. This should be your last resort. So you could say, well, you said that we can't have a pet because of Lisa, but are Lisa's allergies really as important as rescuing that cat at the shelter who's trapped in the cage and would be killed if he doesn't find someone to adopt him? All of these are good strategies for rebuttals. They acknowledge the other side and say, you know what? I'm still right. 
Here are some different sentence starters you can use to incorporate in your counter arguments. If you want, take a screenshot or picture of this right now. You could start with although, even though, while it may be true that, in spite of the fact that, some people may argue, but a possible concern is, a common counterpoint is, for example, they contend that those who believe um, all of these are great sentence starters for your counter arguments and rebuttals. So feel free to use any of these as you are developing that in your essay. So we are going to be continuing on with your rough draft. Remember, it's due on Monday. So whatever you don't finish today on Friday, you're going to be working on over the weekend. So let's just do a quick refresher and reminder of what you should be working on. You should be working on this rough draft. There should be five paragraphs. And if you're wondering, what do I need in my five paragraph essay? I have also posted your argumentative essay format outline. So this is what you need in your introduction, your first body paragraph, your second body paragraph, and your third body paragraph. And remember, you can have a fourth body paragraph for your counter argument if you'd like, and then a conclusion. If you are working on the Pear Deck, you are continuing on with the slides until you get to slide 11. So until you see this slide where you're writing your conclusion, you are still working on this. When you're done, you may log out of the Pear Deck if you're working on the argumentative essay on the rough draft. A Google Doc, you can turn it in. If you have any questions, make sure to comment and use all your resources to develop that strong five paragraph essay. Remember, it does not need to be perfect. We're going to be working on the final draft next week and we can look at what you've written and what you need to improve on. But make sure you bring something um, to class on Monday when you are working. All right, good luck and keep working hard on that rough draft.